Greetings. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Spy Party Competitive League. Tonight we will be live casting a Week 8 copper match between Soulseam and Quicklime. And this is my co caster, Lagorv. Hello, everyone. So let's dive into the standings in Copper Division at the moment. So our match here is between Soulseam, currently with a score of 9, and uh, Quicklime, currently also with a score of 9. So they are both at the exact same place on the scoreboard. And these so are... Soulseam. Yeah. I think Soulseam has a few games that haven't been played yet below yeah. Quicklime. And that's just a result of the fact that there have been a few forfeits in this division. So if you look at Soulseam's record for, you know, the first seven weeks, they've been up against all three players who forfeit, and they've also had their one bye week. So Soulseam is a little bit behind in terms of number of matches, through no fault of their own, really. And when you look at the record, one win, one draw, one loss, there's still a lot of room to grow here. If you stack up wins you know, having one draw or one loss isn't really going to be a huge detriment to your ability to climb to the top. Especially when you look at who Soulseam has played. 4-7 uh, result against Zero Doom, who's one of the higher players in the division. Tie Party against Alexair, who's also a pretty, pretty good player in this division. Definitely. It looks like Quicklime has also picked up one win, three losses, and a single draw so far. But they're on top of their matches, and they've come close. To... Yep. Who was it? K Mars. Um, Who's doing pretty have well the above these two? Bands coming in already. These players are getting their draft started. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that open. But yeah, Quicklime has won uh, the previous week, draw the week before. So definitely a little bit on the uptick. All right, Quicklime has banned Aquarium, any four of eight. Yeah, I, I put together a quick prediction saying that we would likely not see any five of eights because neither of these players have a very good record of picking it. Um, Soulseam has banned Modern. Quicklime and Soulseam have picked their doubled maps in High Rise and Ballroom, which was totally expected. Quicklime follows up with a single pick of Courtyard, and Soulseam will end the set on Balcony. None of these picks and bans are outside of the range for these players. These are very comfortable maps for these two. Yeah, I believe Bal uh, Balcony is chosen by Soulseam quite a bit. I'm assuming whenever the opponent doesn't ban it, it's something they like to pick. And it looks like they are getting the game ready. These players are quick. They're quicker than any other match that I've cast so far. Thought we would have yeah, a little bit more time up. there. Uh, well, I'm in game, so just let me know when you're ready. I'm loading up spectating. And so, okay, as I was saying, these are. players have pretty similar histories. They've both been playing for quite a while. Sewell seems been here since 2012. Quicklime was in Challenger for the past two seasons, so they're both pretty experienced. And three, two, one, play in it. So we got Pearl stepping in to a window pad under AI control to start start out. The Eyeing down the ambassador at that blue bookshelf in case we want to end with some fingerprints. But we're going to step into conversation to get our first flirt. We are pretty far away from the seduction target, so it only reaches 23%. But yeah, and we as do well, have time we're right next rise. to Queen. Yeah, if uh, Soulseam is trying to do flirt pairing here, they might assume that Pearls could be flirting with Queen for this, so that could work out for Quicklime, depending on how much Soulseam is trying to flirt pair here. And you do have a lot of time to continue the flirt, so an early 23% isn't necessarily that much of a problem here. Yeah. And Wheels, our seduction target, will pick up an early highlight for grabbing the briefcase. 
And so we are in conversation with the double agent now, but the double agent leaves. We didn't take the contact, and it wouldn't have been a great time anyway. There were a few people out of conversation, including Wheels, the seduction target with a highlight. Now would not be a good time, as a real double agent is out, and in, there are three other lowlights available. No, so we're just spending time in this useless conversation with Disney, but we do walk over to the bookcase. Is there a print we'll grab here? Ourselves. Yep, this is the early blue fingerprint. But we don't have a lot of other progress. We'll still need at least two flirts. Yeah, you need to get the flirt if you're going to make good progress here with less than two minutes left. You are sort of running out of time for that. But Wheels was at Windows, so we probably didn't want to try to get it there because he might leave before we can get the flirt off, but unfortunately he enters the other conversation. We have requested and taken an innocent drink. Oh no, there's a difficult fingerprint on it. And we'll hit a green. Wow, that's going to be very, very hard to track. Real contact comes off. Banana bread. Nice, that's a good one, except the other suspected double agent is out. Hmm, that's unfortunate, if Sulseem assumes real, but there was only one low light from it, and it doesn't look like there's any assumptions being made. I'm not seeing any highlights for real, or low lighting, the one without the SDA. This is gonna be a tough flirt. Wheels leaves us. And we're gonna chase to the bookshelf and gulp our drink in the process. We're gulping the drink before we go to the bookshelf. But we're not chasing, maybe a little bit worried that the chase will be obvious. And this is sort yeah. of an unfortunate situation because you got your two fingerprints. One of them was a difficult print from a drink, which there's no way Sulseem was tracking that. So you'd be in a really good position here if you could just finish the flirt. Paratrooper in chat thinks we're going to finish with a purloin. That's an option. We're purloin gonna is take on. a bug path. And it wasn't suspected. It wasn't seen by Qu by Sulseem. Are you ahead of me? I'm seeing the, ball pa uh, the bug path on screen right now. And there we go. Mission win countdown. Six, five, four, three, two. No suspicion. No shot. And that would have been really smooth if Quickline was able to finish with the flirt. But they weren't, and they went for a bug path instead, and it just worked. Yeah. I don't know how much the arm was visible, but the path is definitely visible. When the ambassador is at the back of that conversation circle, it's prime bugging opportunity. It wasn't extremely visible from the sniper's side, but you still have to suspect it with the 30-second beeps going on. All right. Three, two, one, playing it. Soul Seam stepping into the innocent conversation under AI control until we will get an opportunity to chase down Sorry. We will take that early opportunity to chase the flirt. We'll get a white test up to 32%, which leaves the option for three flirts. Yeah, we looked like we were a little bit far away, the circle's not touching, but we were still able to get to 32%, which means we can finish if we are as close as possible on the others, or if that floating point value helps us. A bit of a strange walking into that statue with Irish in front of it getting the briefcase, so hopefully the pathing path looked alright to quick climb. We will get the fingerprint off of it though, and we'll have the option for this briefcase unless Twin steals it from underneath of us. And that's exactly what Twin is doing, and that's probably a good thing. You don't want the suspicion of going to the fingerprintable statue and then immediately getting the briefcase from under it. That would just so, blow you up there. We immediately chase down the green fingerprint at the bookshelf. And we're finishing statues. We are being an incredibly active spy right now. Incredibly active, but... Quickline will have to be on top of the flirt here in order to shoot. Is um, I presume that we're not going to go for a contact. No, finishing with a flirt would definitely be easier. With two minutes, you know, that's balcony flirt timing. You can get three of them in in two minutes if you're trying really hard. And, and you green know, would question... be really nice here as well if we could get some distance. Yeah, the question is, 
is Quicklime going to be on to this? Because sometimes the sniper might think, you know, why is the spy getting fingerprints and statues? The easiest way to win on a 3-5 is just finishing your seduce, getting a good contact, and just doing one of those other missions, rather than doing two of them, which can get you a lot of suspicion. So it's sort of a Yomi play, daring the sniper to shoot you for completing multiple missions that aren't the easy ones. And the end of red. There's a contact. And we contact. Getting impatient as the spy. Immediately shot for it. I wonder if Sulseem thought that they could get away with a contact there, even though they had those other two missions complete, but it looks like Quicklime knew it and just wasn't going to risk letting Oprah complete missions like that. Yeah, that seems like a mistake. All right, so that's another point for Quick Climb. Quick Climb now up 2-0. 3, 2, 1, play in it. We've got Boots here. Look like an attempt to chase down the seduction target who repathed away from us. So we will start out with an innocent talk and conversation. But we immediately leave. We don't want to be there. We want to be next to our flirt target. And the double agent is trying to leave the conversation, but comes back, which is good for us because now we have options. The ambassador... Still on the white flirt train, hitting up to 34%. The ambassador is nearby at the window, but it would be awkward to leave and bug them. They do leave a briefcase, though, and we could go for that if we want to do prints. Perloin is still on over inspects here. That's a good that point. Is, no that's prints. That's a difference that was between Sulseem and Quicklime on their spy sides. We're heading over to get some inspects. Are off, but we're gonna inspects are head off over too. To yeah. <laughs> Gosh, you're way more on top of this than I am right now. I need to be looking at these uh, mission mission lists. But the prints are on, so we could have gone for the briefcase earlier. Was Man. the ambassador too close to it? I don't know. High Rise is just confusing when the missions keep changing every time. Yeah, I'm trying a thing where I'm taking notes and it's not working out. So. And we'll Bear be is asking, for this briefcase return in an Bear awkward in position. Is asking what Yomi is. Uh, so, Yomi is a Japanese word for reading, and it essentially means how you read your opponent, what you think they'll do. So, in the last round, we were talking about if the spy would go to so many mission sites, do statues and prints really aggressively. And that's sort of a mind game, because the spy wouldn't do that. The spy doesn't want to be obvious, so if someone is being obvious, maybe they're not the spy. Or maybe they are. And it's a mind game, and it just keeps revolving back and back around. I'm going to step in for presumably the real contact here in a second. But we still need to finish off with one flirt and another mission. Looks like there aren't being any lowlights taken. I'm not sure there were even any available, so it's a pretty good contact. There was one on Kane, and it looks like Alice has just been low lit for an assumed real contact, since the other double agent was out. Oh, and... Stepping in for the flirt here. We're going to start talking. But unfortunately, Alice left to pick up the briefcase. And oh, we just and we'll get shot, shot anyway. I mean, we Perhaps didn't even we have that much flared. mission progress. Yeah. Solsi may have paired Quickline with Irish there in that back conversation. Yeah, that's really good flirt pairing. All right, three, two, one, play in it. We'll be under AI control and take a pretty strange repath past the ambassador, but during the time of chaos, it was likely unnoticed by Quick Climb. We are right next to the ambassador, so if we leave this conversation, we could bug, but the ambassador leaves does give us the option to pick up that briefcase though, and we'd be in a very natural position to do so. But we're not taking that, we're not taking a drink, Sulseem just kind of standing here, not doing much. 
but finally going in for the first inspects. Uh, inspects are still off. <laughs> so we'll see, may have forgotten to switch off Purloin. Oh my, no, I'm the one who's forgetting to check the mission list every time. So it's I don't a totally know. Last time, statue. last time Soul Seam did purposefully choose to switch it from Purloin to Inspects, and quickly and switched it back. I mean, there is some value in changing the missions up. The same way that I'm getting confused as a caster, the player might get confused as well. Even if they watch the mission list change, you do still have certain habits, and Inspects on on High Rise is the standard thing. So even when they're turned off, you still have the wires in your brain, you know, immediately looking over every time someone goes to a statue. It's hard to uh, adjust in the moment to the different missions sometimes. You've got a real BB coming off, but there's... There were three people out of conversation, but Salmon steps in to give us one extra advantage. But it looks like highlights are coming off on hair. I'm assuming she stepped into conversation as well right when the contact was happening? She was there, but she was like in the process of taking a drink. Mm, that's I think it's a bit perception. of an unsafe low light, though. But it's not the spy, so we don't really care about it. Yeah, it definitely looked like that was a hard contact to parse definitively, you, since the people who were out of conversation were all still in the living room, potentially about to join. So the contact worked out fairly well. We've got the second seduce at the side statues. If inspects were on, we would be done with that. But it is not, so we still need one other mission. Yeah, and it's a little bit too late to go for prints. It'll be hard to get two of those in a minute and 15 seconds. So the last one's going to have to be either a purloin or a bug, a hard tell that you will have to get past the sniper at this point. We'll finish up Seduce with a useless green test. And now it still seems time to choose his fate. We can take a drink here, but there's not much going on. It'll be very easy to watch the drink being taken. And now we're going to walk by the ambassador and bug? No, we don't bug. We take the path behind the ambassador as if we could have bugged, but we don't do it. And instead, it's a fake banana bread. Banana bread. I'm confused why we don't take that bug there. I think Soul Seam worried the bug would be seen, but gets shot anyway, even though he didn't actually do a hard tell. I think the intent of that banana bread was basically saying, I'm not going to finish missions, I'm going to do another banana bread so that the sniper can try to figure out why there was a second one, maybe someone didn't have real the first time, has real now. Basically an attempt at a frame because Soul Seam was probably too scared to try one of the hardtails available to them. And it completely backfired and just got them shot instead, even though they didn't have enough progress to be complete. Yeah, unfortunately, that was a frame on ourselves with not, no other mission progress done except for that pretty blatant bug path. No, and so that means Quick Climb takes High Rise 3 1, and we are now moving into Ballroom. 3, 2, 1, playing it. We will let AI control take us into an innocent conversation, eyeing down the seduction target. And once she is settled, we will take control. And we will reject Toby's drink and stay in here for a little while longer. Yeah, the seduction target is on the move, but now they're all alone in a conversation. It's a perfect time to go. You know, when they're all alone and you join, you are allowed to instantly talk. That's how it works. You won't get any suspicion for it. But we didn't want to make the flirt pair too obvious, so we stood a little bit away from them. Yeah, really respectful flirting. Although we did take a tiny bit of a bug path to get into this position. So now the Looks question like... is, are we going to timer flirt? No, we're going to go for this briefcase. We were in the perfect position to get it. We curved a little, strangely, into it. <laughs> and the ambassador is in a really first... easy place to return to. First fingerprint down. We will wait for him and 
behind the pillar, do a return. That might get us some suspicion. Yeah, but... that was a really tight spot. I do know that the AI won't return it to the ambassador if the ambassador's back is up against a wall. And my feeling is that that space was a little bit too tight. And regardless of whether it is legitimately, objectively too tight, what matters is does Sulseem think that it was too tight? But with no reaction, it looks like Sulseem might not have had a problem with it. Looked like Quickline wanted to get another flirt in there, but Sari left that conversation and crossed the entire venue. We were offered a drink, but we didn't take it. We are going to go flirt with Sari over at the statues now, but she leaves. Tex got the statue before Sari could, so no flirt, and instead a very suspicious center statue visit. Yeah, we're hitting green tests for this, but we need this statue to be put down quickly, but General just gets shot. Well, that answers whether there was any suspicion for the briefcase return. The answer is apparently no, and General must have been doing some suspicious things himself. Absolutely. And that's another point for Quicklime. Quicklime going up 4-0. 3-2. 4-0? Uh, sorry, 4-1. Okay. I was going to say, that was the fifth game. Verbal typo. <laughs> Three, two, one, play in it. Stepping into the blue bookshelf here as Duke under AI control. We will sip our drink. We'll let the AI start grabbing our book. And then we will... What are we going to do with this? What's our game plan? We're going to take a bug path. We're going to take a bug. And no reaction immediately from Quicklam. We've got our first flirt across the conversation for a nice 25%. Good early contact coming off here. In the end of red. Three low lights. Now the question is, are we going to stay in this conversation? We do have timer flirting as an option, but we're pretty far away from the seduction target, so it's not really the best plan, unless you want to get some lack of suspicion for idling. Soul seems warming up with the greens. This is our second one, up to 51% with that floating point value. we still got a blue book, so we can finish in one more flirt at the blue bookshelf now that Twin has gone there. Then we still have to find one more mission to do. Seduction a target minute. over at the bookshelf, but they are leaving with it, so we can't go and join them. And so we're just spending a lot of time in this conversation not doing much. But it's not awful, because we do have the bug done. So in terms of progress, we are doing pretty well. It's just we will have to leave this conversation at some point. Probably once Twin goes to return his book, we will go and finish off the seduce. But we hit a white test, so we gotta do it at least once more. I think you're a little bit ahead again, but that's not a problem. I'll give it a quick pause. And we are immediately chasing the seduction target back over. The cooldown just expired, so we spent enough time away from them. And we should be able to easily finish up the flirt here, and then have one minute left to do a final mission. And the question is, is that mission going to be putting the book back in the incorrect shelf? And my guess is that that's what Sulseem wants to do. It's just a question of if he feels he'll be able to get away with it. Yeah, we've held on to, held on to it for this long. so, And we're heading over there right now. So we're going to head over. We're going to read this book. And the mission win countdown will be on comes the up. Etiquette. There's no reaction. There's not going to be a shot coming off. If there was, it would have happened already. Sulseem gets away with it and takes the second point. That was pretty clean. That's really good for Sulseem. They really needed a point here. There were no highlights on Quicklime's end. Three, two, one. Playing it. 
got General here, immediately stepping in for the 34% flirt. Even though it's a rude talk, it won't be noticed in the time of chaos. So the question is, are we going to stay in the conversation and go for a timer flirt? It looks like that's what Quick Climb's planning on doing. The camera movement from the spy doesn't really look like they're eyeing any other sites, but Tex leaves, so we do decide to leave. And we're going to enter conversation here with the double agent. Looks like a lot of people in conversation. Wouldn't be the worst time to do it, but there are four people out of conversation right now. Including one who is high lit for statues. Yeah. And then the red. One of the suspected double agents will leave and a few other people will shuffle around the party. <laughs> and we're going to walk and enter next to our seduction target again in order to make more progress on the flirt. And, you know, having the flirt at ooh, 85% with a green test, having the contact done, it's good progress. It's nice to have those out of the way and know that you'll be able to finish the flirt really easily, but we do still have to decide what our other missions are going to be. And it looks like we're going to go for one inspect, which means that we will have to visit statues again sometime in the next two minutes. This is the fingerprintable one, though, from earlier. So we'll grab that, and that'll give us options to finish with all four soft towels. Only problem is finding another fingerprint, and visiting statues again without getting shot. Trying to finish the flirt at the windows, hopefully Tex doesn't leave in time, and they leave right after we get the flirt, so that timing worked out really well for Quick Climb. Yeah, may have seen that uh, Tex was sipping his drink, which means that he'll refresh his window timer. And now we're just waiting in this conversation near the briefcase. The ambassador leaves, but are they far enough away for you to return it? The answer was yes, because Seek is doing it, but Quickline might not have been as sure. But we do have a bug path available. If we just walk backwards right now to go to statues, we could bug the ambassador. Maybe we depending do. on the sniper's angle, it might be visible behind, without the uh, pillar in the way. But it could be With blocked. the highlight as one of the best bugging characters that would be extremely suspicious at, the, at this point in the game especially if we finish off with statues yeah i don't think a bug would work here and quickline may be panicking a little bit not sure what to do just gonna go in for the final inspect and maybe just hope that sometime in the next 40 seconds the ambassador gives you another print otherwise you will really have to get desperate ambassador is holding a drink so that means that He'll have to finish it before another one is available on a drink print. Yeah, and Quick Climb's just walking over to a window pad, again indicating to me that they're just waiting for the ambassador to put the briefcase down and leave, but it's not going to happen, Quick Climb. So what are you going to do? Bug attempt oh. doesn't take, probably not visible, but we're just going to time out at this point. Soul Seam is definitely onto that bug path. The laser's on him. That one will take, yeah. and that one will get shot for. That one takes, that one gets a shot. I mean, if the first one had taken, you held that shot for what felt like over 10 seconds, so you could have lost to it. So the play of leaving the laser over General there without shooting could have been a loss if that bug had taken. But with General's walking speed, how quickly they walked by there, I don't think that bug was ever really going to take without a little bump action. Yeah, it's hard to be confident in that as a sniper, especially with how how much there is to look at, how much you would have to focus on that in that moment. And so that's another point for Soul Seam. Soul Seam bringing it back up to 3-4, uh, and that's a pretty pretty nice comeback considering that High Rise started for 3-1 Quick Climb. If Soul Seam gets one more point here, it will be tied up. 3-2-1, playing it. Soul Seam as Duke again. We'll stutter a bit into the center statue, but it wasn't noticed. And so we are getting a center statue inspect at the start. We should be able to get all three, but we do need Alice to get out of there and let us inspect the other one. But it doesn't look like we're able to in time, so even though we went to center statues, we only have two inspects done. Yeah, and we eat that fat early highlight. Even though Quickline might be a bit more suspicious of 
Disney who was at the center statue in the back and may not have had a chance to see what it was before he had a chance to swap it. Yeah, and this always becomes a question for the sniper. If you go back to statues, what will the sniper think? Will they think, wait a minute, they already had center statues. They could be done with inspects. Why are they going to statues again? Or they might just say, well, might have hit two white tests. Wasn't able to get all three. And the end of red. Three low lights available on this one, unless... Nope, he does not assume real. No, and I don't think there's any reason to assume real at this point, so that would have been a bad decision. We do have a low light on Boots. Was she in conversation the whole time, or did she just join? Uh, I think she was one of the ones that was walking. Or she was in a fake conversation. I can't quite remember. And we went Rook over to eight. the bookcase to flirt with our seduction target. We're taking a book. Do we want to go for microfilm again? That is how Sulcim won the last round, I believe also as Duke. Yeah. But not going for I... it this time. Does he have a better than average microfilm animation? Not that that's super viable in this case as the only highlight. And we're getting our last inspect. We're just one cycling this time so we can get out of there. So we're going to finish the flirt. The contact went off pretty well, inspects easy soft tell, and again we are in the position where we will have to do a hard tell. It's a little bit too late to start going for the fingerprints here, it would be hard to get two of them in one minute. Any flirt will do though. We just gotta- oh. We get shot just for going back to the bookcase! Was there a print on it? I don't know. That I didn't see any reason to shoot there, unless he was just suspicious. Even if there was a print on it, that would have been the first one, so it's a very, very early shot. The only real reason for that is, I guess, if you were just very suspicious of the two statue visits, if no one else was really doing much. It's hard to know. If we get a chance, we might. We should probably ask about that one. Yep, yeah, and that's a point for Quick Climb, bringing it up to 5-3 as we head into the single picks, starting with Courtyard. 3-2. One play in it. So we are Taft, the fastest character in the game. We are going to start off in an innocent. Eh, there's a double agent in this conversation. It's not totally innocent. <laughs> double agent will leave, making this totally innocent now. Yeah, now it's innocent, and I wonder how long Quicklime is going to want to stay here. Courtyard isn't necessarily a map where you're going to run into time problems. The usual strategy here is that you just find a good time I'm for the contact. Way. And there it is. That, I think, only gave off general as a low light. Very, very good contact. The three early statue visitors are all in conversation. At least one of them has real banana bread. That's really so. good. So we're starting our flirt now, you know, a little bit late into the game for the average courtyard game, but we should easily have time to finish it. Probably going to want to fit in a statue visit ourselves, but we are near the ambassador. If that laser goes away, we could try for a walking bug here as our hard tell. Seduction target will leave, so that'll make us move if we want some more mission progress. We're rejecting a drink which indicates that we do plan on going for a statue visit at some point, or we would like to bug, and we don't want to be holding a drink in our hands. Ambassador will be offered, but she'll walk away. She'll walk away, leaving us with the opportunity to take the briefcase if we want to go for Prince, but it looks like Quick Climb's not doing that, and instead just going for the statue visit. Yeah, well, we'll see if... If he can get away from this without being high lit, that would, of course, be extremely beneficial. And Sniper's laser isn't moving right now. We might get away from this. Wow, no highlight for statues. That... I think that is what will win this game. I mean, you do still have to get away with the hard tell, but usually the Sniper is going to be watching the highlights in particular to see which one of them does a hard tell. It is getting a little dicey with the flirt, though. 
we can't follow them in a conversation right away. We need to wait a little bit for the timer to cool down because it has not cooled down yet. But it shouldn't take too much longer, and then we will be able to get the flirt off. That path was not a particularly suspicious one behind the ambassador, except that General was blocking the view. So, finish off with the flirt here, and we still have 20 seconds to think about what we want to do here. Yeah, we could walk over to the Ambassador and bug. We have Toby coming. We could try for a Purloin, but it's not necessarily a great time. Well, actually, that's not true. The Ambassador is walking on the other side. It is a potentially good time for a Purloin. The laser this is moving over. I don't away. think it saw it. And now will the laser catch up to us and shoot us in time? We take the bug path, but don't bug. And that's probably what Zulcine was looking for. Wow, and I think that's just a case of the Ambassador being over on the other side, splitting the attention of the Sniper. And that's just how it works, you know, that's the best time to either bug or purloin is when they are on opposite ends of the map. And it really worked out for Quicklime there, and Quicklime takes a sixth point up 6-3 six, three now. 3-2-1, three, play in it. We got Queen here standing in an empty conversation. We will take AI control and we'll do a behind the back bug with the arm facing away from the sniper. And immediately follow it up with a white purloin oh into my a God. snap walk away. This is a rush. That was a really good bug and you know I hope this works out for Soul Seam because otherwise it's gonna feel not so great to get away with the bug and then instead of just taking the safe play of going to the statues, getting your contact and seduce, following it up with a purloin. We need to gulp this drink, though. If we see, or if we show that we have more than one sip, we're a high suspect. Although we'll finish our drink and get highlight for it anyway. Yeah, we got a highlight. I mean, that was a little bit of a delayed highlight if you were just highlighting people with drinks. So I do wonder if Soulseam had gulped it a little bit earlier if we could have gotten away with it. T-Flame says he thinks we're the top suspect. Well, if we were the top suspect, I'm wondering why we didn't get Highlight earlier. We're the only Highlight. And we've just taken an awkward conversation entry across from our seduction target again. Yeah, so, I mean, it looks like this game isn't necessarily going to be so much of a rush if you're going for the Seduce. You could have rushed with Inspect Swap or maybe Inspect Contact, but finishing the Seduce... Uh, makes this very much not a rush anymore. Although, we've got our second green across the conversation. We're up to 74%. All we need is one more flirt. And if we can do this without a banana bread, that would be extremely powerful. But it's going to be hard not to get shot if we are the top suspect. Yeah, and, you know, Quicklime is moving around, playing their due diligent... Is that a... Can you say that? Their due diligent uh, sniper game. But they must remember that Sulseam is the highlight for walking away with a drink when a purloin happened. So the question is, as soon as Sulseam does something, goes to statues, is in conversation for a contact, will a shot come off? Or is Quicklime taking this time to maybe build up other suspects? Seems like that highlight has really slowed down Sulseam's pace though. Because we are taking our sweet time and we're not going to have many opportunities left. No, banana I'm bread. worried about finishing the flirt. Contact Green comes banana off. bread, followed by the shot. All right. Yep, looks like Quicklime was just waiting for an opportunity to shoot as soon as Queen did. Literally anything. And Quicklime takes the match 7-3. Yeah, that was pretty close overall. Some really good spy play. And followed up by some really good shots as well. And we're just going to ask them if they're up for an interview here. And Quicklime says yes, so let's head on over to headquarters chat. Sure. Let me pull up the map. 
Yeah, and I feel a little bit bad for Soulseam after that. I think that they had gotten away with that bug, and if they just slow played it and went for, you know, the classic inspects, contact, and flirt, they may very well have won that. Uh, but it's possible that they were just feeling like they really needed to do something bold because they were behind in score, and so they went for a purloin there, and it just sealed their fate. All right, quick climb. Uh, how's it going? Are you there? Yes, I am. Awesome. Uh, how are you feeling after that match? Feeling pretty good. I feel like I got a bit of uh, redemption after we tied last season, a game that I really felt I should have won. So glad I got that win under my belt now. <laughs> nice. That was a fun one to watch. Yeah, no, I was I was feeling good that whole way. I was taking a lot of uh, intelligent shots um the last couple of shots that i took was just me tunneling obviously with queen there and then um the one before it i can't as normal i can't remember what i did 10 seconds ago but um yeah the one be uh i think it was prince on ballroom uh the second time uh i, I just found myself tunneling him and i just i just took the shot i didn't want to wait for you know maybe i missed a bug or something like that so yeah, there was one on Ballroom where you shot Duke for what we couldn't understand as anything. Yeah, which game was that? We can go take a look at it, or we can start from the beginning with uh, High Rise. Just going to go over was some that... of the key moments here. Was it I that shot Duke, or was that... Um... I think so. Yeah, Duke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting Duke in general mixed up. God. Yeah, yeah so... blonde hair guy. I'm looking yeah, at the yeah, first yeah, yeah. High Rise game. This one went pretty well for you. You got the fingerprints, and then you finished with a bug instead of finishing uh, with your seduce. Can you let us know what you were thinking there? Were you planning to finish with the seduce, and at what point did you realize that it was maybe not going to work out and decided to change strategies? Yeah, I was planning to finish with the seduce the whole way. If I, if I recall correctly, I'm trying to load up the game here. I had maybe like a minute... 20 or something like that with just seduce left and i was looking for any point where i could get a good seduce in and it was just never coming to me at least i, I think he was spending most of his time uh my seduction target was spending most of his time at the bookshelves and things like that i didn't want to go chasing make it obvious i know that soul seems caught uh caught chasing once or twice in the past so i didn't want to risk it yeah, that's correct. Um, Starting at about 250, Wheels just heads on over to the windows, then to the bookcase. They head back into conversation for a little bit after another window visit, and then they just head right on back to the bookcase, uh, to the paintings, then a bookcase. And I guess that must have been really tough to watch, seeing that Wheels was just never staying still. Yeah, he was uh, keeping away the sunshine the entire time. I didn't feel like chasing, and I... Uh... With about what thirty seconds left or so, maybe twenty, uh, I I felt going for that bug. He was in a pretty good position for me to path to uh, blue bookcase um, unsuspiciously, and I figured that was probably a better option than uh, risking a time ad to try and chase down the st. Uh, yeah, and then in the second high rise game, this is one I'm a little bit curious about. So the second high-rise game, Sulseem was playing Hare, also known as Oprah, and played a very aggressive game, immediately starting out with one statue visit to get a fingerprint, going to the bookcase to get another fingerprint, and then immediately going back to statues and finishing the inspects. And you shot her as soon as there was a banana bread coming off while she was in conversation. Uh, what were you thinking about Oprah during that time did you think it was maybe a aggressive play for a spy did you think oh maybe it's an ai or were you kind of keyed in there i did think it was a bit aggressive um again i have to reference our last match in scl4 um where there were twice the reason why i felt like i should have won it was because there were two uh two times as sniper where i really felt i had him nailed down but i was just too hesitant to pull the trigger so um, this time going in, I was, I was a lot more focused on, you know, finding my suspect, waiting for that last mission to be done. Um, and then just confidently taking the shot. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I, I just, I couldn't allow myself, uh, to let him finish missions this time. So 
Um, when I saw Oprah probably had missions done, I, I had to take the shot. Yeah, were you That's aware really that good. there was a fingerprint on the statue and the bookcase, I'm assuming? Uh, I was aware of at least one of those. I don't think I caught both, um, but more the reason for me to shoot. I, I'm i not the best tracker of fingerprints by any means, so um, anytime they get one, I'm, go I'm just going to assume that they either got the other, or if it if I caught the first fingerprint very early, I assume that they're going to get the other, probably right from under me. So, other, just a lot of crediting of missions done on my part. Yeah, in that game, Oprah was only one flirt away from finishing with the inspect fingerprint and seduce. Do you think you would have been able to catch that if he hadn't chosen to contact? Almost certainly not. I, I am someone who still somewhat depends on the uh, on BB coming off. So if if you can find a way to do a silent game against me, especially on high rise, that's probably your best bet. Yeah, that was a, that was a moment that confused us a tiny bit because he had a really good opportunity. Um, do you have anything for game three, Dells? No, not for game three, but uh, so game four, high rise. Sulseem was Seek, and you shot him at the end after a fake banana bread at uh, 028. And we were a little bit interested to know why you shot, because Seek actually didn't have any major mission progress. He had the seduce and a contact, but he definitely hadn't bugged, hadn't purloined, and didn't have a single fingerprint. Uh, and you immediately shot after the second contact. Can you let us know why? I'm replaying that over right now. Um, I'm trying... Uh-oh. No, go away. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of skimming through the game. I don't know exactly what gave it away. I think I might have... Um, I might have suspected a fingerprint at some point. So again, just kind of crediting him for the entire mission being done. Um, but also... Um, it's it's worth noting that he decided to go for my setup here, the uh, stat, taking the statues completely out. So I knew he was kind of out, out of his element doing this, perhaps uh, doing this uh, setup, perhaps. So I think it was just I don't know. I'm looking. Well, there's also a bike path a near the end. I'm noticing that he enters that conversation uh, curving around the ambassador. So maybe you suspected a bug there. I think so, yeah. I think I saw him do some weird pathing at some point, which isn't normally something I'll highlight for or do any major suspecting. Oh, I, he does go to uh, statues on the right, though, at about a minute 36 left to seduce. Maybe I had him paired? I don't know. Again, I have a hard time remembering. <laughs> uh... That's all right. I think part of it. I, I think part of it too is that um, both BBs were white, if I'm not mistaken. So I I think it was just the fact that he was talking both times might have triggered me. Uh, Lagor, do we have anything for ballroom? Uh, for the first match, actually, yes, I do. It was that shot on general where we had no idea what had happened because we had only been paying attention to Soul scene. Sure. Um. If the the highlight was... highlight comes it... off at two minutes and four seconds. So the two minutes and four seconds. Um, so I do recall him doing something strange. Oh, wait. Uh... It looks like he does like a momentary pause during his path. Oh. Yeah, he does. Okay. And I, I do recall seeing that at one point. And then I think he does something weird at statues, if I'm not mistaken, or... He was shot for a returning briefcase. Or a returning briefcase, yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I remember catching that momentary step at one point, and then there we go. Yeah, he, he did this weird back-and-forth path um, at what while time? returning briefcase. Uh, right before he gets shot, actually. Oh, and he I starts see that. To, yeah. He, he starts to approach him, and then he bounces back about a step and a half, and then he goes back to um, going after Amba. And I remember catching that as I was... Uh, I, I caught a little bit of that as I was doing the statues, 
And I thought, like, oh, hopefully he's paying attention to that and not the fact that I'm going for my third cycle on these statues. <laughs> and sure enough, he shot. And uh, the the one time we talked in between games was him mentioning, yeah, no, uh, General deserved to get shot for that. And I agreed. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. Ballroom 2 looks like Sulseam got away with a microfilm on that one. I don't think there's much to say there. Do we have anything for Ballroom 2, 3, or 4? I, I, I will say that getting microfilm past me on Ballroom is fairly impressive. Microfilm on any other map is, is tough, but I'm usually camping microfilm pretty hard on Ballroom, so the fact that he got it past me is pretty impressive. Yeah, I wanted to take a look at uh, the ending of Ballroom 3. So you were general, you had your statues, your seduction, your contact, and it seemed like you were looking for a fourth mission to do. You were waiting for another fingerprint to come up. Uh, and that basically starts whenever you finish the statues at 40 seconds left. Were you waiting for another fingerprint still at that point, hoping that you could finish by getting a second one? And at what point did you realize that it wasn't going to happen and you would have to go for a bug instead? Honestly, I think right as as soon as I walked away from the uh, uh, statue, I, I was kind of holding out hope, like maybe he'll walk by me or something like that. I was giving the ambassador about 15 seconds to do something. And when he didn't, I went for the bug didn't take got a little frustrated decided to go for it again just blatantly in his face i figured either i'm high lit and he's gonna shoot me anyway oh wow he didn't even see the bug no well he saw <laughs> he the was first one to... i think he, he might I, if he did i don't know why he didn't shoot me sooner yeah that's what but, we were wondering um, because if that first one had taken let's count it down the bug happens at 15 seconds. So if it had taken, you would need to be shot by 5 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. No shot comes off during that 10 seconds. So the shot is definitely a little bit delayed. If you had gotten that first bug off, you would have won that match. And yeah, I, I do recall that as I started walking back, I, I thought to myself, man, the 10 seconds is up if I just got that. But then that also kind of made me think, well, if he hasn't shot me yet within the 10 seconds, then maybe I'm just neutral lit or, or low lit. Maybe I can get by with a more bold uh, bug, and, and when overtime goes off, maybe he'll just shoot somebody else who's closer to the AMBA at the time overtime starts. Um, but yeah, no, I, I guess he saw it and maybe just uh, overestimated how much time he had, but either either way, it was a good shot. Yeah, and in Ballroom 4, you took a really early shot on Sulseam as Duke. Shot coming off with a minute left on the clock as Duke walks over to the blue bookcase. Uh, all Duke had at that point was contact, inspects, and, you know, seduce could have been done if there, would, if there was another green from your perspective. Why did you take the shot? Did you believe that Duke had another mission progress at that point? I believe so, and it, it was another factor of tunneling. I think he was my first, uh, or no, because there were a few people that uh, went to statues. Um, I'm trying to think, and he wasn't one of them. Yeah, if I we move over to 228, I see highlights on Duke, Disney, Alice, and Teal, uh, maybe for statue visits, but it looks like they get low lit as a reaction oh, to a wrong, contact, wrong. maybe because they didn't have real... Oh, no, because they were walking around at the time. So it looks hey, like wait, you lost on. all of your other statue highlights when the contact came off at about 2 minutes 20. I was able to get a decent amount of uh, low lights off of the statue, taking credit for... Um, or giving credit for a real BB. Uh, let me see. Yeah, and he was, he was really my only... Uh, uh, he was my only highlight after that. So, and I believe it was a white BB as well. Let me see. So was he talking? Or no, I wasn't even looking for talkers. But yeah, he was he was my only highlight after that. And again, about halfway through ballroom, I only have one highlight, and he's moving around a lot. I was going to be tunneling him regardless. So going back to what I had hinted at earlier, once I 
started tunneling him. I just I just knew I had to take take the shot before he finishes a mission that I didn't give him credit for or something. Nice. And then the first courtyard game, that one went uh, pretty smoothly for you. You pulled it out with a purloin at the end while the ambassador was moving around on the other side, so it was the perfect time to do it, and uh, good job on uh, being aware of that and taking the purloin for the win. And on the second courtyard game, uh, Sulseem was queen as the spy, started off with a bug right at the start, behind her back, getting a bug off on the ambassador, and then immediately purloined. So my questions for you are, did you notice the bug? And No, I did not, and I, I just watched it as you asked. Damn, how did I miss that? <laughs> yeah, but then Sulci um, basically gave it to you anyway by purloining. I take it that you did notice the purloin? I noticed it... Uh, again, I'm watching the replay here. I noticed it very shortly after, not immediately after, and... Um, I don't even know how I recalled Queen walking over. Um, I think I just started looking for drinks at that point, and I knew... I think I knew Queen had gotten a drink, and so when I saw her finish, right at about 2.27 left, when I saw her finish that that drink really fast, I was pretty confident that she had grabbed the drink at some point and that that was a uh, gulp. So, again, I started tunneling, but this one I let go on a little bit longer because... I didn't see the bug. I didn't credit a bug. So I thought, okay, I can look for like two or three missions. Um, which, luckily, I didn't wait too long. But I, w I was starting to get a little bit concerned about halfway through because he didn't do anything after I highlighted him for about a minute and a half. And I started wondering, oh, shoot, have I already lost this? Was it like, was it somebody else who was in that same conversation circle? Yeah, but you um, took the shot very confidently as soon as the contact came off. So I assume you were just trusting your instincts there? Yeah, again, it, it wasn't until probably about a minute 30 left that I started suspecting maybe I was wrong, but I was still just waiting for that one thing. And again, the contact comes off. Uh, um, I, I didn't even pair her with uh, General, I guess, because he was low lit, so I wasn't really paying much attention to that. But I was, I was looking actually, for anything to pair or... He had actually gotten two green flirts across the conversation. Yeah. Woof. Yeah, so. I just saw that. Damn. Yeah, there was one but moment I'd... where Sulseem entered the conversation a little bit too tight. Uh, did you maybe notice that? That was the other thing, yes. Thank you for reminding me. That, that was the other thing. I did see him enter too tight right after I... Uh, not too long after I highlight him, and that really locked it in for me. Again, and again, I was just looking for that, like, one more, you know, that confirmation uh, mission, see him go to statues or do the BB or, or anything else. All right, uh, I think that's everything I had. Ligorv, did you have anything else noted? Uh, did you cover first game on Courtyard? Um, I didn't have any particular questions for that. I just, uh, I just congratulated Quicklime on the great timing of the purloin at the end. Yeah, that was a good right. one. The only thing that I think can think to ask is, did you know that you didn't get Hylet for the statue visit? I suspected that I didn't get Hylet for the statue visit, and I even suspected that I wasn't seen. Um, but I couldn't be sure because I'm playing as Taft and he's seen pretty much anywhere on this map. <laughs> so I, I didn't, I, I didn't give credit that I wasn't seen, but I was pretty certain that his lasers are never went over me. Um, but I, I didn't really take that. I, I know soul seam is like me and where he'll highlight pretty much every statue that he sees. Um, but I, 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 I decided to actually, I was really hesitating uh, considering going for the swap there too, because I really didn't think I was seen. And if I was somebody like, um, you know, Irish or Alice or something like that, I probably would have gone for the swap thinking I still wasn't seen yet. Um, but I just, I, I knew I, uh, was playing for the, the sixth win there playing for a guaranteed point. I didn't want to throw it away by doing something silly, like a hard tell when I didn't have to.
Well, that was really well played, so congratulations on the set. Awesome. Yeah, very well done. Appreciate Lots of great it. shots, great instincts, and uh, good awareness as spy, especially with that purloin at the end on courtyard. Knowing how to get away with the hard tell on courtyard is a is a really good strength. It's that's the first time that I've been able to successfully get away with either a swap or a uh, purloin, especially last second um, using my using the laser knowledge. So I was I was pretty proud of that one. <laughs> As you should be. Uh, all right. Well, thank you, Quicklime, for joining us for the interview. Thank you for letting us cast you. Thanks to Sulseem as well, and everyone in chat for watching, commentating, and thank you to Lagorv for co-casting with me. Of course. Yeah, and thank you guys for uh, casting us, too. All right. Have a good night, everyone. All right. Good Peace. night. Hoorah.